or we're really trying to find a way to connect what you know I would say are my values to um, what we're building and so we're talking about healthier products you know getting fewer calories out of the American diet um, getting more chemicals out of the ecosystem and out of the bodies of people ingesting the tea and picking the tea leaves even connecting with the consumer in an authentic way Today, Honest Tea sells 30 flavors of organic tea and aids, each containing fewer than half the calories of mainstream drinks. It seems to be working. Sales topped 23 million in 2007, and he's still brewing. So now we're heading into our product development area. This Otherwise is... known as a kitchen. <laughs> you can call it that too. <laughs> On a hot plate. We got hot plates, yeah. we measure it out, and this is, um, this is a new tea we're going to be introducing this year. It's called the Citrus Spice Decaf. So, it's got uh, cloves and cinnamon from all around the world. The spices come from uh, mostly from you know, Southeast Asia. So how does honest this tea taste, taste to a southerner who grew up drinking sweet tea by the gallon? So that's like Very cinnamon. Nice. It's light. Um, and it's real tea. It is real tea, There's yeah. No tea solids in no, here. No, no tea solids. <laughs> no high good. fructose corn syrup either. So this is the gunpowder tea. Honest Tea gets its leaves from China, India, Sri Lanka, and South Africa, encouraging farmers to grow tea plants organically without pesticides. We really change the, the landscape of, of agriculture in these tea growing communities. Um, they start understanding that um, they've got to find other ways than just throwing chemicals, un, really unnecessary chemicals, in, into their ecosystem to, to build their businesses. And, um, that's where I get excited about the impact that we can make. Because for Goldman, it's not just about making honest tea. It's about running a company true to his eco-minded philosophy. In his business community in Bethesda, Maryland, Honest Tea helped launch a local green initiative promoting recycling and the reusing of restaurant grease to create biodiesel. Not long ago, he bought each of his 56 employees a bike and many ride to work each day. The desks are all recycled. Got it. Um, the floor is uh, bamboo, which is a renewable hardwood. Uh, we've got even the brick. The brick columns are reclaimed. That was, this was from a, a construction site in Baltimore. Okay, explain the gong to so me. So the gong, uh, we ring it whenever we get a big sale. And uh, we have definitely had our share of record sales days over the past few years, and so it's always fun to give it a whack. And you gonged it several times when you sold to Coca-Cola? We gave it a big whack, for sure. <laughs> That's right, Coca-Cola recently bought a 40% stake in Honest Tea for an undisclosed sum. In fact, Coke executives were waiting to meet with Goldman following our interview. Is there a concern also that by selling to Coke you sold out? We still have control of the company for at least the next three years, both in terms of the board as well as economically. Um, I'm still very much running this company and you know we have built this brand a very deliberate way for the past 10 years. Coke didn't invest, is, their goal here wasn't to say we, yeah, we know you've done it for 10 years, but now we want to invest and change it totally. That would, that's just not what an invest, a smart investor would do. So you feel pretty confident about where Honest Tea is headed under Coke? I do. I, you know, look, there's risks to everything. Um, there, you know, there is always the risk that somehow we'll be um, subsumed. But, you know, I've taken risks for the past 10 years. I went to, this isn't the time to stop. This is, to me, the payoff on this is not just financial, it's, we can now really take this idea and this mission to a national or international scale. And that is a risk I'm absolutely willing to take. And when you think back to you driving around New York City with your borrowed thermoses of tea to where you are now, you just sold to Coke, what goes through your mind? You know, the great thing is what we created when we started, it was a tea company. And so we had tea bags and that was, it was honest tea and the word tea was most important. But as we've grown, the word honest is most important. So we're not just a tea company. We're selling something that's authentic, organic, and healthier. And so you've got honest tea, you now have honest aid, honest kids, and there are a whole range of places we can go with that same idea. What is his next idea? He's still reading the tea leaves on that one, but the hot plate is still on. Honest Tea is introducing five new flavors of tea this month, all in new packaging. The goal? To appeal to a broader market.